Hello, my name is Kate and this is a car boot sale haul. So I've got loads of amazing bargains to show you, a lot of wedding items and I've got some normal things as well, makeup and just some really um, good buys in here. Good buys, good bargains, not good buys, it's hellos. Oh God, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, thank you for watching this video. If you haven't uh, watched any of my videos before, I do all kinds of videos and vlogs and I love a bargain. I'm getting married next year, so I'm, I'm gonna try and do everything secondhand, all the decorations myself. And um, yeah, it's all gonna be secondhand. So these videos just show you everything I'm buying. Then I'm gonna put it away. And then when it comes around to July, I wanna get it out and flood the garden with wedding loveliness that's all thrifted and secondhand. Um, right, so I'm gonna show you those in just a second. I did ask the other day if you wanted a car boot sale haul or a wedding haul, and there was a few comments for both. So I'm just gonna, yeah, put it all in one because it's, it's the same thing really. I just wasn't sure if people wanted a particular one, but um, yeah, it's all fine because nobody really minds it, I don't think. Before I show you my items, I've got to do my shadoo. I've got to shadoo my mug of the day. And it's this lovely little cat one. I love this mug. It's so cute. You know, it's so cute. You put your teeth together and go, I don't know if anyone else does that. Or you look at like your pet animals or your dog and then you go, oh, you're so cute. Let me know if you grit your teeth and something's really cute. Anyway. This was 50p from Sue Ryder Charity Shop and it's a little cat obviously with its feet. It's from Tiger originally. I've got a coffee and this is my mug of the day. My coffee's gone cold though because I've been faffing. That does not that does not taste good. It's an instant one this time. Oh, I don't think instant cold works, well that one doesn't anyway. Right, so I'm going to start off with my um, makeup-y items and then I'll get on to the wedding bits. There's some really nice things. And if you watch my vlogs, a couple of months ago, I'll link the vlog in the description, I was um, looking around the car boot sale and I found a big box full of wedding stuff and I got it for £7. Um, so this is the box from that vlog if you remember it because I think people were like oh I want to see inside the box um so I finally got around to doing this video so I'll show you what was in my seven pound box at the end um and then there's some other wedding bits but I'm going to start off with this like I said the makeup things the bag was free this little makeup bag is actually a Clinique one I didn't realize until um today I just thought it was like a just a little Primark one but it's actually a Clinique makeup bag and this lady was selling this um all of it on behalf of her friend. But I got some good deals. The first thing I'm gonna show you is this Liz Earl body cream. This is Liz Earl Nourishing Botanical Body Cream, naturally active ingredients. And there's 200 milliliters in this and it's pretty much um, brand new. And I had a sniff, because sometimes you know, you can smell things and they smell a bit off. This smells really nice. I've used Liz Earl stuff before. I think someone bought me some, some years ago, like the face cleanser. Um, and I did I have a moisturiser? I'm not sure, but I think I had a small sample and they used it up and it's quite expensive. So I got this for £2, this body cream, and it smells, if you know what this smells like, it's it's just beautiful. It smells really like, I want to say herby, but it's not her it smells expensive. You know when you have something that smells really good quality, like Origins, like that kind of smell. If you ever, I've not bought Origins, Origins stuff, but I, that smell, like gorgeous, strong, lovely, naturally centered smell anyway so that was two pounds i think she wanted three and i offered two there's a little thing where i think it might have been from tk maxx or something it's a little sticker thing that makes it look a bit grubby but it's not it's in really good condition and um i haven't used it i've been waiting to show you on this video and then this looks a little bit weird um and i'll only use this on my fingers and my hands because I wouldn't put it on my face just in case but it's this liz earl naturally active super balm and if you can see it there i think this is quite expensive in fact i don't even know if um i think they don't do it anymore for some reason i know some people would never buy this but i have i've bought it and it's fine so you don't have to warn me about any dangers i've cleaned the top of it and it's it's really nice i've used it on my um on my fingers actually like on my cuticles and stuff and it smells just beautiful um i also bought some what have i got here nail varnish these are again liz Earl nail varnishes this is, this is and they were 50p each i love the color so it's like a gray one in fact i need to redo my nails there's a gray liz Earl nail varnish i'm not sure how much these are normally it was probably in a gift set i think and these were 50p each 12 millimeters milliliters in this one um and it says strengthening i think is that what you say yeah strengthening nail color this one is bright red 
and it's the same it must have been in the set because they're also they also strengthening and that's like a, a peachy coral that's more of a coral isn't it so these three liz earl nail varnishes and they were one for one pound fifty for the three which i thought was really good i haven't used them yet i will probably use them later actually quite like the gray and then i also bought this um nars i think it's eyeliner i'm not sure what is it i just saw nars and thought i've got to get it <laughs> Um, I bought some NARS blusher from a different car boot sale and that's really nice. That was only 50p um, and that's a really nice colour. This says on it, what is it? I think it is, oh, here we go. Soft Touch Shadow Pencil um, and it's a really nice colour. I don't know if you can see that there. It was like a champagne-y. Beautiful, isn't it? So that'll be really nice um, on my eyelids and then maybe put eyeshadow on top of that i'll just sharpen that so it's nice and clean and um back to normal and kind of newy ishy but i think they're again quite expensive there again i think these are expensive um in the shops and in real life so all of these makeup items including the free clinique bag came to two three four pounds fifty which is so good for all of this um makeup stuff so i'm looking forward to using that body um moisturizer it smells so nice okay so i'm going to put these back inside here and then i'm gonna get on to my wedding items um i have done lots of different vlogs and uh shown snippets of the car boot sale so you might have seen some things that i kind of found on the floor and i think i did film these little hearts i think anyway um, a couple of or about a month ago because we had such good weather around I think it was like end of August so I went to loads and loads of car boot sales to find wedding things and other bargains and these were a pound each these little wicker wooden hearts so that one's bigger and um, that's still quite large but it's not as big as that one and I just thought they would be handy for anything really I could use them as trays for drinks or put confetti in them or hang them up even. I don't really know, I just thought I had to get them because they will add to something because we're decorating quite a few areas so I'm gonna have lots of arrangements um, on our wedding. So we've got the marquee, different areas, we're probably gonna buy a couple of little gazebos and things um, and then we're having the ceremony on my mum's drive. So we're gonna have to make that all beautiful as well. So these will go somewhere um, and they were a pound each for those. I could always put wedding bits and bobs in them like string and um, ribbon and things I find to keep them nice and safe. And then these were one pound 50 for these three little bottles. Uh, I don't know where they're, just tell me where they're from originally. Bow Botanical, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's like a boots thing or something. I'm not sure, it doesn't tell me, it just says made in China. So they're just little glass bottles with um, the rustic string tied around the bottom and the top. And there's a mini log slice tied around the top and on this side it says home. Um, but obviously I'll just turn that over and I can just put a little heart on there or something or leave it as it is because it's quite pretty and then just put flowers in there. So this one, um, this one the same size and there's a mini one. So they'll look really pretty like sitting on a big log slice with some flowers poking out the top. They're really nice aren't they? And I paid £1.50 for these three and I think we had a haggle. I think it was a bloke selling these and I think I think he said something like two fifty, and then I said 150 and then he said yes or something like that but I did get some money off and they were £1.50 for the three which is really good because I think by that point I had quite a lot of bags and I didn't want to carry too much but I thought if they're really cheap I'll get them and then they were um and then these lights uh were a pound I think those were a pound or possibly £1.50 um and they are originally I think they're B&M I don't know, I think they're B&M anyway. They're £3.99 originally and these, I think I got them for, I think it was one fifty. I think she said two and I said one and we said one fifty. So these are rose lights, so obviously I could use these for the wedding or I might put them in here actually because I've got some pink ones but they don't look that nice like above our bed. So I could just save them for the wedding um, and put them somewhere pretty, aren't they? So hopefully they'll work, the batteries go in there. I'm sure they will because they haven't been I've been used before and then I've got my big box of car boot bargains so I got this for seven pounds like I said at the beginning of the video um I saw loads of wedding stuff and I saw these little jars and I said how much for the lot I think she said five and then we were putting them into bags and she said oh just give me seven you can have the 
plastic container as well. So I will show you everything in this box. It was brilliant value for seven pounds. So if you are looking for things for a wedding or for anything at any, any occasion, or if you're doing up a house, make sure you go to car boot sales because you just never know what's there and you can find things for, you know, hardly any money because people are just trying to get rid of them and the first thing from the box is this bunting it says just married and I have bought this a few times but I'm gonna put it kind of back to back or I'll dot it about or I can always just use the um use the bunting maybe put a piece of put a what <laughs> put a piece of lace on there or something but I just yeah I felt like I had to get it well it was in the deal so I've got it anyway um so that's the first part so the just married bunting and then oh this bunting is so gorgeous look how cute that is so I'm not sure if it's handmade or bought I'm not sure so it's more bunting to just put around the garden and that's hessian with a bit of sort of cream lace and then the white detail on the top so there's that set as well and oh, more bunting oh it's so cute little heart bunting so um with some lace actually on little lace details there so there's that little set of bunting um and all of that together will look lovely. I bought lots of Poundland bunting, which is white. Um, so I think together it'll go really nicely. And I've got some doilies. Are they? Oh, I think they're doilies. Uh, I think that's what you call them. But these like round things um, that I can probably either put on the log slices or put on a table. I don't know. There's all, all different things I could do with these, I suppose. If you have any ideas for any of this, let me know in the comments because um whenever i read them i always you know get great tips and ideas from the comments so if you think of anything during this video just write it in the comments and i'll appreciate that very much i love read i read all the comments um as you probably know and i love any like tips anything like that any any ideas um so there is i think ow the box is getting me and turn around there is one two oh it seems to be nails three ah, four five six seven doily lacy things okay what else oh these are good i think these are place settings or i don't know let me know if you know what these are for because some things um i'm unsure of i think she might have made these or bought these on ebay but there is i think there's one two three four five six seven of them um again and they are kind of like place settings, but um, I don't think they are. So maybe I could put the log slices on top of these and then one of those on the log slices and then everything else. I'm not sure, but there's a few different styles of hessian and then the lace. Um, and then there's some other ones that are like this. They're in such good condition. This might be one of my best finds at a car boot sale, this wedding box, because it's just such good value, isn't it? Seven pounds. Probably wouldn't even buy you three of those wouldn't it i don't know it's just so good see car boot sales are just brilliant so make sure if you haven't been to one go along and have a look um and i found these quite late again like people do say um that you have to get to car boots early but i don't think you do i found these i think it was the second car boot sale i went to and it was about half past 10 or maybe even 11 o'clock so if you have got up late you can still go to a car boot sale if it's on that is if the weather's good enough because it's been rubbish lately um yeah you don't have to go early i found lots of stuff later because i never really get there very early the earliest i get there is about half past eight and that is like really early for me so it's normally around like nine half past nine and then in here i've got some luggage tags they're just plain simple like luggage tags that i can put on something and then a couple of little candles little pretty white candles um they look a little bit dirty but i'll either just use them or clean them up they're pretty um, I'll just put those over there in case they break. And there, anything else? No, I think these are mainly just jars. So I'll show you a few and then I'll probably just film the box because I can't get all of these out because you'll be like, I'm just going to be showing you the same thing over and over again. But these were the things I saw initially and said how much each. And she said 10p and then I said how much for everything. And then we like, you know, we both agreed £7 was good. And she was happy with that as well. And she was just getting rid of her old wedding things. So just lots of various different things, um, jars and tins with little bits of lace on, which is a nice idea. These little like seasonings, salt and pepper pots are in there too. And then some really pretty ones, ones like this with a bit of lace on already done. 
and then lots and lots of jars um, I can put flowers in with hessian around them so what I'm going to do is show you the inside of the box because that will be easier I don't think there's anything else in here it's just jars isn't it yeah so I'll show you them the inside of this box and then you can see what I'm talking about but there's loads in here so I probably don't need to um make any I thought I'd have to make loads of these things but I don't think I do here is the contents of the box lots and lots of different um jars and ribbons and lace this one's really cute it's got a little flower and some lace my colors aren't silver but you probably wouldn't even notice them all together I'll just take that part off maybe but they've all got different there's not that many silvery ones they're mostly hessian sort of you know that sort of string and um and lace with a few oh that's pretty oh this one's cute here there's a little one with a button and some um ribbon i think that they were in there little flowers and what else that is it that pretty and here's just a simple little plain one with some hessian on so i'm really pleased with all of this i think it's lovely so that was my seven pound car boot sale wedding box so let me know what you thought of my car boot sale box full of goodies i'm so excited. when i saw them i was just like oh Oh my goodness, I was really, really happy. Um, so that is everything. That is my car boot sale haul. Let me know what your favourite item was. It could have been the makeup. It could have been one of the wedding things, um, the jars, the whole box, or it could be just some of the bunting or these things. Um, so let me know what you thought was the best item in this haul. And I'm looking forward to using um, all my new posh makeup. And the nail varnishes were really good as well. I like the colours. So I might put the... Um, the coral one on later to go with my the top that I'm wearing but thank you for watching if you did enjoy the video um give it a like and if you haven't subscribed make sure you do I got to 20,000 subscribers last week and I was so happy so I did um, a separate video so um you can watch that if you haven't already so it's just like a little happy celebrating 20,000 subscribers and Lee and Toby my son and my other half went off shopping and they bought me a couple of outfits so if you want to watch that video and see what they found in the charity shop I will link that in the description but thanks for watching have a brilliant weekend i have got a vlog for sunday well, it's more of a like it is a vlog i suppose but it's a come shopping with me in home bargains that'll be here at nine o'clock on sunday morning and i was also with mr carrington so he'll be in that video he's another youtuber and i'll link his channel in the description but i'm sure you know him anyway he did a shopping in poundland video so those two will be here um on sunday morning at nine o'clock um, but thank you for watching. I'll have the weekend vlog for Monday and have a great weekend. Bye. I've got to clean all this. Not clean it all. I've got to tidy it all away. All my lovely £7 box and then put it somewhere safe until July. Bye.